Now I'm going to show you a different method for writing the equation of an exponential function. Again, we know it's exponential, so that means it has to be in the format y equals a times b to the x power. Now this time, I am going to use a table to kind of visualize what is happening with these two points. So I'm going to start by doing my xy table. And I know what negative 1 is. I've got negative 1, negative 2. I don't know the value for 0 or for 1 or for 2, but I know that 3 is negative 162. Now, knowing what I know about exponential functions and the way they grow, I know that whatever my multiplier is, my b value, is what I use to multiply each y value to go from one row to the next. So negative 2 times b would get me my value for 0. If I multiplied by b again, it would get me my value for 1. One more time would get me my value for 2. And one final time would get me my value for negative 162. That means that I am doing negative 2 times b times b times b times b, which can be rewritten as b to the fourth. And that equals negative 162. Now I have an equation here that I can solve for b. I divide both sides by negative 2 to get rid of this negative 2 here. And now I have b to the fourth equals negative 1, oh, I'm sorry, equals 81. And then to get rid of the to the fourth power, I can do the fourth root because anytime I have a power, I can undo it by doing that root. The fourth root of b to the fourth is b. The fourth root of 81 is 3. You can also think of the fourth root as having it be 81 to the 1 fourth power, which we learned about with our fractional exponents, and you will still end up with the same answer. So now I have b. Now I just need to figure out what a is. a is my y-intercept, which is what I have when x equals 0. So if I know that I'm multiplying by 3, I can just do negative 2 times 3. And that would leave me with negative 6, and that is my a value. So now I know what a is, and I know what b is. My final step is going to be to write the equation, since that's what they asked me to do. So y equals negative 6 times 3 to the x power. And there is your equation.